Hi there. I'm Rory and in this session I'm going to show you the steps that you can take to get a trial of Office 365. Now this is the sort of thing that a parent will need to do so make sure you're with a parent when you are trying to do this. Okay let's head over to the session. This was done as part of a live session in our third session at the Microsoft Reactor. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go to uh, I'm going to go on to uh, Office 365 Trial E3, uh, and then I'm just going to click the top button here. There are loads of ways of getting trials. This is the way I tend to do it. Um, so it'll kind of whir around. Um, so you've got an option of buy now or free trial. You just click on free trial uh, and then you will need eventually in a couple of minutes time, you'll need uh, a mobile phone. Um, so I'm just waiting for this thing. So create a new account. Um, so I'm going to click on this. Now, I'm going to need to make sure that I'm actually creating it in my own name. So I think it's trying to sign me out, which um, so as you can see here, it's probably going to sometimes you may need to go through an incognito window so that things don't mess you around so we'll see if this uh, we'll see if this uh, messes me around at any point um, in fact I have done this before in the past and usually you're better off um, signing out and so on um, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem too fussed at the moment so what I'm going to do enter your work school da, 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 create a new account so We'll check if you need to create a new account. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to create an incognito window because I, I just want to go right from scratch. So Office 365 E3 trial. Now what I will do is I will create a nice clean version of this for you guys to follow through uh, and we'll put it onto the Power Apps for Kids. Um, so I'm just going to put my camera on. Um, so I've gone to that free trial now and it shouldn't it shouldn't try and do any of this business where it recognizes things, um, which means that I'll get to, to do a normal kind of sign up. So although you'll have seen that it's cost £17.60 a month, that's for an E3 trial. What we'll do at the end of the trial period is effectively just drop it down to uh, an E1, which is about £6 a month. And I think that's about the best I can do it. I'm sure there's other ways around it, but um, uh, that that people can choose. But I think that sometimes when you pay for things, it's actually worth it because you're getting something for it. So um, I am just going to put in this, and I'm going to just click next on this. But I'm going to do create a new account instead. Um, so Rory Neary, and it's just doing the auto fill and so on. So Four four seven eight one six nine five six one eight eight. Now it doesn't need this bit here. I always do one person, so I don't get bothered by Microsoft about anything. Um, and click next, and then you've got to do a bit, a bit where um, okay, it's going to send me a verification code. So this is the bit where you need your mobile phone. So you click send me a verification code, and it dings up very very quickly. Um, apart from when you're doing demonstrations, um, so. So it should come through in a few moments, and I've got it already. Um, eight five four seven seven one eight five four seven seven one. You verify that, and then you um, you then create your own uh, uh, own. You have to basically now you've got to start thinking. So I'm going to do power apps for kids, and hopefully nobody's taken that. Check availability, then click next and it's available and I'm going to call this first account It's currently called admin and I'm going to just create a password for this. And I'm kind of hoping that I've actually done it correctly. Which it looks like it's done it. OK, so this thing we are we're probably we're nearly done now. Um, in terms of setting the account up, the only thing that I do beyond this is to is to um, downgrade it from an E3 license to an E1 license. We haven't noticed that we haven't actually had to pay for anything at this point in time. 
So um, obviously it's wearing around at the moment, but that, that's the kind of crux of setting this up. So what I might get us to do is if it doesn't sort of refresh um, in, a, in a couple of seconds, then what I'll do is I'm going to hand over to Peter and he can do the, his piece in terms of the um, uh, in terms of global variables and so on. So I think what we'll do is we'll just leave that because this is kind of normal. It normally, to be fair, set okay, good. Yeah. We've done it. You can see it set up. We've done it live. Admin it, um, and we can go to go to setup. And you you kind of jump through a few hoops here. It's not particularly like it's a bit of a next 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 thing, but you're you're almost there really at this point in time. But I wanted to make sure that. Um, I'm just going to go to www.office.com. We don't actually need to go to the admin center at this point. So I'm just going to go www.office.com and it should show us the apps that we've got now got available to us. And what you'll see is straight away, there are certain things that are actually going to be in the process of getting set up because the account is only like about a minute old. So uh, it's just a uh, demo demons and so on. So you can see we've got certain apps that are appearing here. This is actually quicker than usual, but if you click the the arrow, then you can see and where it says all apps, you'll be able to see all apps. And of course, the purpose of this exercise was to show you that you can get to power apps quite quickly. So uh, now we've got all the gump from Microsoft um, when you first set up an account. I'm not really interested in that. I just want to click the all apps uh, button here because it doesn't know that we know that we want to do um, Power Apps. So I'm going to click on all apps. Um, got things whirring around here. Um, good. And to be fair, all I really do is I just type in Power. And you can see bottom right, we've got Power Apps. I might as well click on it. And it's actually going to take us to Power Apps. And as far as I'm concerned, from a demo perspective, we are pretty well done here. You know, this gets everyone in the room who's got a mobile phone can get themselves to this point, which means they can access the learning. And that's was that was kind of one of our, you know, one of our guiding principles here. It would be nice for the screen to just pop up. Um, you can see that it's kind of getting there. Make.powerapps.com home. So there you have it. That's how you get Office 365, which means that you can take your very first steps with Power Apps. Good luck with that. If you have any comments, uh, do pop them down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification icon. Uh, do make sure you look in the comments as well or other in the description because there'll be links there to help you out along the way. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed it and see you again soon. Bye.